So girl, where you come up with your mouth? Good morning, happy Friday. As you can see, I just finished a workout. So now I'm sitting here, um, sitting here about to start work, just trying to get my bearings together, you know, get my breathing back right. I don't have my watch, so just trying to get my heart rate back down, my breathing back down so I can get to work and also drinking some water. I haven't even had my coffee yet. So once I kind of, cool my body down i'm gonna go make me some coffee i think i might make me some hot some iced coffee today but i just had i just really um taught myself a really good lesson this morning i am so big on routines and having a routine and sticking to a routine and schedules and stuff like that typically when i work from home i like to get up in the morning about seven o'clock and do a workout i started doing this um it's been a few months now and so this morning i just did not feel like getting out of bed and my attitude was almost like well since you didn't do since you didn't get up at seven to do your workout then you just won't work out today and i was like no no like my routine is the thing is, I work out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I have to, you know, just because I'm not doing it at the exact time does not mean that I'm not going to do it. And so, you know, it was just a lesson that I had. Like, you can have a routine, but don't be so stuck on your routine that if it's not exactly the way you have it planned, that you just don't do it at all. And so I got up and, you know... I got up and I did a workout. It, I did not really feel like working out. So luckily there is someone that I follow on YouTube and she is a fitness channel and she does like these quick workouts or something like she has different types of workout and she has a 20 minute um, cardio workout that I really like. So I got up this morning and did a quick 20 minute cardio, got my heart rate up, got some sweat out, moved my body. And yeah, I worked out Wednesday, I worked out Friday. My plan, I'm trying to get to the point where I can be consistent with working out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So yeah, so now I am about to start work and make me some iced coffee, I guess, and get my day started. Welcome to the vlog. I am back home, y'all. I went out, I had to take my son to go get his um, driver's license. Get that He got me, y'all, because we was in there, he went, did the driver's test, came back, and was like, I gotta come back next week and try again. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, you've been driving for almost 10 years. There's no reason why you shouldn't have passed. But he got me, ha ha, jokes on me. So, since I was, in Chicago, I went to my favorite pizza place on the south side of Chicago, and it is called Gianna's. I like this place because they have um, a chicken sausage. They have chicken sausage. I don't eat pork, so usually I'll get turkey sausage, but I like their chicken sausage better. It has way more flavor, so... I'm about to heat it up because I've been in a car, but that's what it's looking like. Good old chicken sausage. So I'm gonna heat it up in the oven because I wanted to have that fresh, fresh out the oven taste. And then, you know, y'all saw I went to Nike Town. When I tell y'all I, this month, I have been like, what budget? You want to say March Madness? That's what I have been with spending, just mad. So I had a little time. So I went in Nike Town and I found these. Were not on my radar, was not thinking about them at all, but I could not resist. This is my first play, my first pair of Jordan 2s. 
get into it. And I don't know what it is, but we with the green, but I also know that red is a hot color right now. So I'm guessing I'm gonna have to add some red. Look at me, another reason to shop. To the, um, to the closet, but yeah. And I think these would be great for the summer months. Throw them on with some shorts or something like that. And they were $89. So I, girl math, $89. They don't even have the regular price. But I know my sister said, do they have it on here on the receipt? I know. Okay. Girl math. So these were $50 off. Regular price was $140. I paid $89 for them. So $50 off. Girl math. Figure it out. So I'm about to heat up my pizza. I'm about to watch um, the new movie with Regina Hall. Um, the Shirley Chisholm movie. I hope I'm saying that right. I hope because I don't want to come off like I don't know my history. I'm about to watch that and I'm about to relax for the rest of the evening. And I might make me a little cocktail and chill out for the rest of the evening. So if you guys see me again, it will be in the morning. Good morning. Happy Saturday. I am in front of the nail shop about to go get and my feet done. I told y'all I was putting this back in the uh, budget. And so here we are. I'm about to go in there. Uh-oh. That's all in the camera. About to go in real quick and get this done. This is going to be a quick Saturday. Yeah. About to go in and get this done. And I want to go get my Chi Chi's uh, size, my bra size. Because I feel like my brows hasn't been fitting correctly. So I'm 10 minutes early, which, is, which means I'm on time. I think I'm going to do a pink situation with the nails. A little pink, pink, pink. Since it's uh, fake spring. So let's go get these nails. All right, so I just came. Well, I got my nails done and I went and got my brow fit, my bra size fitted. I think she was off. She said I was a 40 double D. Um, I'm going to have to go home and try on some bras because uh, I I feel like I'm bigger than that. She said I was a 40 double D. I feel like I'd be, oh, I'd be um, coming out with double D. So I need to go home and look at my bra sizes and see. Maybe I am getting them too big and maybe I should try a 40 double D. So yeah, we're going to see. Right now I'm getting me something to eat because I'm hungry. And then I think I'm gonna go to the car wash and then head home. I'm still in the city right now. So yeah, oh, and this light is not great. I don't know what's going on with the light. But these are my nails. I went for a little pink and I feel like I had this before though. But these are my nails. I did like these different shades of pink and this glitter, something out of my norm. I usually just stick to one color, but it's spring. I want to spring it up a little bit. So I did that. You know, just something different for spring. Tell me why the girl at the um, Lane Bryant sent me off. And I hate this. I feel like somebody else told me. I feel like somebody else told me like they're not the most accurate when it comes to uh, bra sizing. Sister girl told me, she said I was a 40 double D. And I was like, are you sure, sis? Because, yeah, no. I don't think that's accurate. And she was like, well, what size? She was like, what's your last bra size? And I was like, I was like, I think I got like a 38. I think I got like a 38 triple G, triple D. I even gave, she was like, well, maybe you're, she was like, depending on how it is, you might want to try it on and see. You could be between a double D and a triple D. No, ma'am. I've been in this big titty. I've been 
heavy breasted for a minute. I know that that's not how that range go. I am never, I'm never gonna go from a double D to a triple D. There's some letters in between there that you gotta touch. So I was like, you sure you don't wanna do it again? She was like, no, 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 I, the, 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 the um, tape was right. But I'ma link y'all. I came home and just put, I just tape, did my tape myself. And I put those numbers in. And it gave me a link to accurately check your bra size. Not only did it have me do a standing, it had me do a leaning. And it told me that I was between a 38G if I wanted a more firm, fitting, tight, full, just straight sitting up, I'm a 38G. If I want a more relaxed fit, 40 triple D. Because when I did my band, it was saying 38. So girl, where you come up with your knuckles from? I should have known when she, I should have looked at her breast and looked at her bra and saw, saw how she was sitting and was she completely together. So yeah, so I'm going to stick to 40 triple D's. That's what I'm going to stick to for my bra size. And uh, yeah, I think the problem was I was getting 38 bands. I'm going to get, I'm going to look at my bands again and I'm going to stick to a 40 band triple D and thank you sis for making me come home and check my bra size for real and I'm gonna put the link in it so if you need to measure yours if you got some measuring tape you just measure your band to measure your band you go under here to measure your cup you want to go across here and like the fullest part, then they're gonna ask you to do a 90 degree angle and you're gonna put in the fuller size with that. They're gonna ask you how you want your bra to fit. If you, you know, your, I think it was like your support, like do how your breasts sit when you support. You got two options and then they're gonna ask you if you want a relaxed fit or a very supported fit. And then they're gonna give you your accurate bra size. Yeah, I'm about to take a nap. Good morning happy sunday i am up i'm about to start cleaning well actually i actually already started cleaning my bedroom is already cleaned so now i'm about to do my living room the kitchen and the bathroom you know that's one of the great things about having a smaller apartment is that cleaning is not such a hassle the downside is is that once it starts to get a little bit out of sorts, it can look really, really messy. So, yes, yeah, so I'm about to get up and do that. What's on the agenda for today? Um, I might go um, out later on. One of the DJs from my high school is DJing at this little bar um, near me. So he's DJing, it's supposed to be like house music night. So I might go and do that tonight. If not, I'm going to chill out in the house. Because, you know, yeah, I don't mind staying in the house. So that's the plan for today. If I do go out, I'll show y'all what I'm wearing. It will probably be hard to get footage while I'm out because it's going to be music playing. It's a club and, you know, 
copyright but i try to do the best that i can i am about to make me um i ate one yesterday um this cream cheese filled croissant what they look like they look like the starbucks one so the instructions say to heat it in the oven that's what i'm gonna do i heated one in the microwave yesterday when i was on the go and honestly i wasn't a huge fan so i'm gonna give it a better another shot another shot by heating it in the oven like the instructions say and see how that goes so that's the plan right now morning happy monday it is monday morning um i'm coming on just to end this vlog because i ended it yesterday it just stopped I did not go out. My girl came over. We hung out for a little bit, but I didn't do anything yesterday. I ended up staying in all day, so it wasn't nothing else to vlog. So I just wanted to come on really quick and say thank you guys for watching the vlog. Truly appreciate y'all who watch, who comment, all those things. Really appreciate y'all. I wanted to do a meetup. I was trying to do one for March. It did not happen. I did not get any responses and I was not putting it on Instagram. I don't know. I just didn't feel like putting it on Instagram, but I would love to do a meetup if you are in the Chicago area or the surrounding suburbs, south suburbs. I would love for us to do a little meetup. I don't want to call it a meet and greet because I am not that girl. It'll just be a nice little meetup. I'm thinking like a coffee and conversation type situation. So if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.